Hi guys, I'm Robert Breaker, and I've got this video for you today that I've just got a couple of things I want to show you. Someone sent me a video that I just am, am looking at and going, wow, what do I do with this? I don't know, maybe I'll just share it with you. It's kind of interesting. A lot of things are happening in 2024, and uh, the first sermon of the year of 2024 that I did, you can go to the cloudchurch.org and, and look up that sermon, is, are you ready for more in 2024? And I said in that sermon that I, I really feel like they're going to try to confuse people. And there's a lot of people today that are very, very confused. And the more news we get, the more we see things, the more we're scratching our heads going, what's going on? You know, the year started out with this thing in Miami. And people are like, what is that? I recently did a video on Uptime Community Church about the Nephilim. And uh, that's a very interesting study. And I posted it on my channel as well. So watch that if you would. So. Why would I make this video entitled Witches, Fallen Angels, Jesuits, and Project Bluebeam? I realize that might be a little bit of clickbait, but hang in there. I've got something for you that'll leave you scratching your head going, what? And to be honest with you, um, I see what's going on in the world, and I'm just like, yep, figures. I don't think anything could shock me anymore with what we're seeing today. And what we're seeing is some really, really weird stuff. People that used to be in the closet are out of the closet now. And by that, I mean the Satanists, the Luciferians, the New Agers, the people that used to practice their rituals in private, they're doing it in public. They feel like we're in the age now in which they can come out into the light and not have to hide who and what they are anymore. As you know, we've gone from Aquarius to the age of, um, well, actually from the Capricorn. Now we're in the age of Aquarius. And a lot of people look at that, and uh, New Agers, they go by that. If you're a Christian, you're looking for the Messiah, but if you're one of those people, you're looking for your Maitreya, that we as Christians know is the Antichrist, who is coming. And it's kind of funny and sad at the same time that we are Christians, we're looking for Jesus, and those who aren't, they're looking for their so-called Messiah. It's actually going to be Satan. And so, you're either of God or of Satan. There's no middle ground anymore. And they're out in the open with their rituals, like the Super Bowls. These are satanic rituals that they do out in the open in the halftime shows and things like that. So you need to know these things, and you need to not be confused. The Bible says God is not the author of confusion. But there's a lot of things that are happening that people are looking at, and they're just going, what? Why is this? Let me show you one example. All right. This is called Witches, Fallen Angels, Jesuits, and Project Bluebeam. So I guess I'll just try to do this in order. I'll add this to the stage. And uh, look at this, if you would. It says, another elitist freak show, demonic witch, mumbles incantations, hexes on stage, blows air at attendees. Welcome to Davos, Davos or Davos, or however they say that. And uh, if you know what that is, you know that's um, something that the elites are all behind and all that stuff. But... The witches are out in the open now. They don't hide it anymore. They are just in your face with witchcraft. And notice how her face is painted red. And, you know, all the occult. Um, Marvel is very big nowadays, these Marvel movies. And it's always the bad guy has the red head, red skeleton or something. Was that his name? And um, Marvel's putting out some new film someone told me about. Um, and something, Echo or something. And the woman's face is painted red. What is a red painted face? Well, if you're a vampire and you're <laughs> drinking blood, you're going to have it all over your face. And so we're seeing more and more of this macabre. I like that word. This 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 just mentality of, of zombies and blood. And, and it's all satanic. And it's all leading people down the path of evil and wickedness. So watch out for that. And, and I believe that if the Lord tarries, I mean, before he comes, we're going to be seeing more and more witchcraft, more fallen angels stuff, more Jesuit activity, more project blue, bar, blue beam. <clears throat> now, I was sent this video a while back and it kind of blew my mind. And it's something that you have to zoom in on. And it's something that you have to um, look at. If you have a big screen television and you're able to watch YouTube through the big screen TV, I recommend that you watch this video I'm about to show you in the big screen TV because we're going to see a man on a balcony. And the bigger the TV, the better you can see him because he's very small on a small screen. But something happens to the man's face while they're filming and it just begins to shine. 
Now, some people might think, well, that's just a camera angle and something weird about the camera, but it doesn't look natural and it doesn't look like a camera glitch. And what is this man doing there to begin with? Let me get to that. I'll present this here and show you what it is exactly that I'm talking about. And this video for me was very strange, very strange. And I'm like, huh, what is this? All right. <clears throat> now I'm sharing and you can read right there. If you want to go to this video for yourself and see it, and I, and I hope you do, I would like you to do that. <clears throat> this is the King's Guards channel. I think it's called the King Guard, the King's Guards channel fan account. So you can go to YouTube and look up the King's Guards channel. And if you do that, <clears throat> you'll see it says rare mystery sighting on the Royal Balcony. People confused. Well, there's your confusion, right? People are confused. And uh, that's what we don't want. We don't want to be confused. Now, this is a parade. And during this parade, you'll see people on this side of the road looking and people on that side of the road watching the parade. But some of the people on the other side are turned around and are looking and they're trying to figure out what are we seeing? And this is at Buckingham's Palace. And there are two men on in Buckingham's Palace up there. And people are like, who are these guys? Because, well, it doesn't look like they should be there. And what they're doing looks like some people say, okay, is a satanic ritual. Some people say that they're witches praying for Buckingham's Palace or something like that because they're literally bowing down and getting on their knees. One of them even goes so far as to go and start kissing the walls and stuff. Are they doing some sort of out in the open ritual? The public were confused and they're looking at this going, what is this? What's going on here? They can't figure it out. Some people say, no, these are fallen angels. Well, when you see the man's face glow, you got to wonder. Other people say, well, they're dressed in black, so they're Jesuits, and they're doing some sort of a, a ritual. I don't know. I don't know. But I want to play this for you and see what you think, because this is very, 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 very strange. So here we go. I'm going to hit play here. And we can slow it down here in the middle. Right now we're normal. So you see these um, guards in there. Parading, and you see all the people they're parading and as they're going along they're all dressed in gray overcoats they've got their black little beaver hats or whatever those things are and they're coming down now the cameraman is watching the parade and then let me fast forward it he suddenly starts going up going huh it's buckingham's palace why are there two guys up there and so he begins to film the two guys that are up there so there's Buckingham's Palace. Buckingham Palace. That's Buckingham Palace. Now up top, watch this. There's a man and there's a man. Did you see it? Did you see what his face just did? Now I'm going to slow this down. And again, if you have a large screen TV, this is what you want. You want to be able to get into this. Watch the face of this man right here. Boom. It glowed. It's glowing still. All of a sudden, there's this glow on this man's face. And you're just scratching your head going, what did I just see? So it's hard to see unless you have it on a big screen. But here it is. And look, he turns and then his face just begins to shine like Moses' face. It says in the Bible shown when he came down from Mount Sinai. Now, what is this man and this man doing on the balcony of Buckingham Palace? on their knees, it looks like praying. What is that? Well, we don't know. And that's why the public's confused because they're like, um, well, that doesn't seem like that's supposed to happen. And, and who are who are these guys? Now we fast forward here a little bit and we see them going in here and uh, we see something very interesting. Now on their hat, they had a little red thing. So I don't know um, if that little red thing is what was on their hat, but some people say, what they think they see over on the other side are witches in black cloaks with with their faces as red. I'm not entirely sure. It could be. That's what those are down there. If so, that's odd. There's people over here along the side that are turned away from the parade taking pictures over there. Why aren't they watching the parade? Why have they turned around and watching that? Are these people that have red face that are um, witches or are these the actual... Um, the guards we saw 
and they're just turned around. So we're seeing the little red thing on their hat. I don't know. So look into that more. But the strange thing is when he zooms in and he looks up there at that balcony and he zooms in on the balcony and he's thinking, what are these two guys doing? And they're on their knees up there doing something. What is this all about? This guy's going around walking back and forth and his face just shone. Then he gets back down like he's praying. And in a moment, I'll see if I can fast forward. He goes over and he kisses the wall. So is this some sort of ritual that they're doing at Buckingham's Palace? I don't know. I just thought it was very, 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 very odd. And you can see it when you zoom in, if you have a bigger screen TV, how the man's face just started shining. Did they catch something that they weren't supposed to? Great question. Great question. So here they are over there. I think that's where he gets up. Yeah, he gets up and he goes over to, and he looks almost like their Catholic priest. Why would he go kiss it? Did you see him? He's just like, I'm going to kiss this over here. So that is odd. And like it says, the public is confused. Well, I'm confused. Why did this man's face just glow, just shine like that? That makes no sense. Let's see if we can see that again. Come back to the shine. So there's your shining, the shining. See his face? It did it right there as he's standing up. It just shined. I'll do that real slow for you. So are we starting to see, and that's what this whole video about is about the manifestation of evil shining. Um, are these witches? Is this a fallen angel? Are these Jesuits? Because uh, if you know your Bible, you know who they're working for. Um, I don't believe in that denomination. There's a shining right there around his face. That is so odd. <laughs> so very odd. Well, there's a thing out there that some people are aware of or maybe aren't aware of. So I want you to be aware of this today. It's a thing called Project Bluebeam. And Project Bluebeam is pretty, pretty weird. Okay. And if you're not aware of what Project Bluebeam is, maybe you should be. This is why I'm warning you not to be confused, okay? Um, God is not the author of confusion, and don't believe everything you see. We're in an age of AI now, and uh, you're starting to see people going out and seeing. Um, well, okay, well, so you can go to AI, and you can say, AI, make me this, make me that, make me this. And it can actually, AI can make a movie all completely fake and you could believe it we're also seeing ai being able to take the voice of people and making tapes of of things like that and um, being able to manipulate and things like that so it's hard to know what to believe so in this age don't just believe the first thing you see that's the best way i know to say it because you never know. You never know. Here, here's your ad right there. You never know if what you're seeing is true or if it's been generated by AI or something like that. Well, this thing is called Project Bluebeam. And Project Bluebeam is them being able to project things. I think those Marvel movies tried to talk about that with uh, oh, some uh, man that used drones and was able to make people believe. I can't remember what that guy's name with the fishbowl on his head was. But uh, he... Uh, he was out there trying to be a superhero and he was using drones to project beams in which people saw what he wanted them to see. So hologram technology is available today. And just because you see it, don't believe it because they can use it for things like this. Check this out. Hologram right there. Outside the Game Awards 2023. They can project onto the into the sky, people coming out of portholes and things like that. So, uh, no wonder I've got this one twice the speed. Let me go back on normal. Go back. I want to show you that dragon again. So, you see a dragon fall from heaven, the Bible says? Well, they can show you that. And people will think that's real. And that's a holiday. Outside the Game Awards 2023. So, folks, just be careful. Don't believe everything you see. Pray about it. Ask God to show you because the Bible says in the last days they will send strong delusion that they might believe a lie. And I think that the world is going in a way in which they're wanting to delude people. And I wonder if they won't use Project Bluebeam, this thing, 
to try to make people think what I don't know fake alien invasion or I don't know anything so be very careful but this is the kind of thing that they can do now and it looks so real so real people down the street just watching this and that whole thing was just a hologram there you go there's your giant Nephilim <laughs> coming out look at that a giant tiger oh wow look at that what do you see it's rising from oh well, it's an angel look at that or it wants to be fallen angel for sure coming up out of the ground so here's a it looks so real the people think they're going to get wet see that wow they're projecting false lightning wow this is incredible what they can do with technology nowadays and now it's like it's opening a porthole and look at that opening a porthole and the guy said hey come on with me come on in here and then he comes out and look what he is creepy oh yeah exactly if you ever see something like that that's what it is it's to try to eat you oh here's your cyclops i mean why why are they doing this with things that we look at in the bible as evil that we know are the product of fallen angels why would they want cyclops and stuff like that so here we go i'll just stop it right there so thank you for watching this i hope this has been eye-opening to you and if anything i just want to I want to encourage you, Jesus is coming soon, but I also want you to just not believe everything you see because we are in a time in history in which it is the most easiest thing in the world to deceive someone. And all they have to do is just do some sort of a light show and everyone will think it's real. So check all things, make sure everything is true and uh, be careful. But uh, watch that video. Go back to that one video. Look at that guy's face. And you tell me if it looks like it's shining. What is that? What will we see in 2024 or 2025 or 2026 if the Lord hasn't come yet? They have technology they can put inside of people. And you can use a, a black light and actually see different colors in their veins. So it make a person look like they're glowing. So... Weird times. I'm anxious for Jesus to return at the rapture, but until he does, I'm going to keep showing you and warning you about things like this and telling you don't be gullible and don't just believe everything you see. And always remember the Bible is true and God is coming soon. Witches, fallen angels, Jesuits, and Project Bluebeam. Hope you share this with others so they can too see the technology. And if you're not saved, please come to Jesus Christ and trust him as your savior. Every week I put a new sermon up in English and Spanish. And my website is thecloudchurch.org. And I want to continue teaching and preaching what the Bible says and warning you about the soon coming of the Antichrist as well. And I want you to go to heaven at the rapture, not be down here with the Antichrist and be deceived. All right, God bless you all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.